you know Father David Kavanagh, and this is Father Brian Eno. Ted, have you got a moment? Just one second. He's got a job. Kevin, Kevin, what's going on for goodness sake? I can't go on. Don't be silly now, Kevin. Oh, it's pointless. Well, what did I become a priest for anyway? What an utterly useless waste of time. No. I'd, I'd been a more use sweeping roads. Would you listen to me? It's fabulous being a priest. Think of all the comfort you bring to the sick and dying. They love it. They can't get enough of it. <laughs> and what about your friends? Uh, Father Alan here, for instance. I've never met him before. <laughs> all right. Um, anyone know him? No, no, no. 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 <laughs> I'm your friend, Kevin. Really? Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> now stop all that nonsense and come on. Okay, I'm coming in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, 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 come on, well, come on, Ted. Well, 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 that silver-haired priest, what's his name? Why, that's Father Ted Crilly. Crilly, huh? Thank you. And who are you? <laughs> Sorry, I went over there. What'd you say? <laughs> so, uh, who, who are you? My name's Cagney, Buzz Cagney, and I think I might have a proposition for this Father Ted Crilly. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, Father. I, I, I don't know what came over me. I, 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 I get a bit depressed sometimes. Don't mention it. I uh, hate to bring this up now, but um, that 20 quid you owe me, do, do you remember? I, if you have it. <laughs> and Harrison Ford jumps off the plane, and as he's falling, he fires back up the plane. <laughs> wow, that sounds great. I'll go again this weekend if you want to see it. Brilliant! Oh, Mrs Doyle, um, when you go home, Father Kevin will be there. He's staying until this depression or whatever it is lifts, so... Uh... All right. So, don't depress him. Yes, <laughs> stay away from war and death and that whole mirror pension fund area. All right. I stick to things like puppies and cushions. Puppies and cushions. I'm, I'm in a better mood already. <laughs> Father, that sermon today, frankly, it bored the arse off. Well, Eugene, I'm not here to entertain you. If you want that type of thing, go and see Jean-Michel Jarre or someone. What the hell was it about, anyway? <laughs> well, it was... Ah, uh... oh, jeez. <laughs> what was my sermon about today, Dougal? Do you remember? Sorry, Ted. I was concentrating too hard on looking holy. <laughs> oh, and to be honest, I couldn't give a toss. <laughs> <laughs> this is much more fun than killing yourself, isn't it, Kevin? Oh, come on, Kevin, cheer up. That's me and Dougal's job now. <laughs> We're in the Smile Brigade. Not the Fire Brigade, the Smile Brigade. <laughs> We're going to keep you happy and cheery until you can go to the bank. Go to the bank? Go home. I, I meant go home. I I'll have that bunny for your first thing on Monday. <sighs> Seriously, it's just a slip of the tongue. <laughs> Please, I don't even remember how much it was. It was a tenner. Twenty! <laughs> 20. I'm sorry, but let's nip that in the bud now. It was 20. I'm sorry, but it was. It was 20. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is you're going to stay here until you cheer up. Things are going to happen for you now. I can feel it. Oh, nice move, Kev. Actually, Kevin, you've landed on a snake there. You have to go, uh, go down. What's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong, Dougal. Are you all right, Kevin? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. I'm all right. <laughs> uh, your go again. Oh, good five. <laughs> <laughs> Another snake. <laughs> <laughs> your go, Dougal. Hooray! <laughs> if he keeps landing on snakes, then I'm going to win for sure. <laughs> Very near a snake there, Kevin is. As long as you don't get a one. <laughs> uh, you're all right, Kevin. It's a, it, it's a six. No, it isn't, Ted. It's a one. <laughs> I don't think it is, Dougal. 
It is, Ted. It's a one. Look. He's going to Snake Town. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Kevin! <laughs> oh, wait, no, it is a six. <laughs> Kevin! Tell you what, we leave it at 15 quid. Hey, father. Hmm? A visitor, father. Father Crilly, hello. Hello. My name is Father Buzz Cagney. I was at the conference the other day. I was hoping we could have a chat. I think you might be interested in a little proposition. And uh, then I was in Utah. Not a good Catholic market. Mormon country. Out there, a guy can have five, ten wives. <laughs> That's a lot of action. Action? Yeah. yeah. Hard to compete with that. And then I was in Reno. Reno? I believe that's very like Wicklow. I did a mass in Wicklow once. <laughs> very rough crowd, very restless. You have to do a good sermon or they'll hop all over you. Anyhow, where are you now? I'm in Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh good God, you're, you really landed on your feet there. <laughs> Tell me, is it really as false and artificial as everyone says it is? Yes. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> You do get to meet quite a lot of celebrities, though. Yeah? Like who? Kevin Spacey. He's a nice guy. Don't know him. What about Val Kilmer? I believe he's a complete bastard. <laughs> Did you uh, ever think of going out there yourself? Well, I, um, I usually go on holidays with my curate, Father Maguire. He can't really take the sun too well. <laughs> who are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> this is uh, Father Buzz Cagney. He's just on a short visit. He's from America. America? We were just talking about that fella, uh, Kurt Cobain. He was from America. <laughs> Imagine blowing your head off with a shotgun. <laughs> God, how did he manage to survive that? Uh, he, he didn't. He died. All right. <laughs> anyway, you go up to bed. I'll be up in a minute. All right. Good night, lads. You'll be up in a minute? <laughs> yes, we sleep together. Anyway, who else do you know? Hello, everyone. Father, are you looking forward to your lunch tomorrow? Well, yes, I, I suppose so. I think you'll enjoy it. You do like pheasant, don't you? Pheasant? God, I love pheasant. <laughs> well, that's a little clue. The thing you'll be eating likes pheasant as well. <laughs> Are you, um, Mrs Doyle, you're not going to cut his nails now, are you? I have to, Father. He's been worrying the armrests again. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh. Buzz, just slip this on. <laughs> anyway, you were saying... Uh, yeah, I was curious. Uh, how much money did this parish bring in last year? How much money? God, I don't know. <laughs> Another bloody window gone. I suppose we take in about 150 pounds, maybe 200 pounds. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, aim into the wall, please. 200 pounds, huh? What's that? Uh, not even $400. <laughs> you know what I do with $400? I wipe my ass with $400. <laughs> God. <laughs> and can that still be used as legal tender? My parish, St. John's, made two million dollars last year. That's a lot of sherry and steak dinners. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, seriously now, do it later. Oh, all right, Father. <sighs> this is the uh, St. John's brochure. It's a little out of date. We've had another swimming pool built since then, and uh, these ladies serving drinks would be in their 20s now. <laughs> wow. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ted, the other day I saw how you dealt with that suicide guy. I have to say I liked what I saw. How'd you like to work with me in L.A. in a satellite parish to St. John's? 
You mean L.A.? That's on... <laughs> Believable. God, that's fantastic. Do you really think you could swing it? It's a good parish, Ted. If you work hard, the rewards are there. Yeah, spiritual rewards. No, <laughs> real rewards. Really? <laughs> hey, it's a land of opportunity, Ted. You want something, you can get it. I want it! <laughs> Really? It's official? Yes, yes, great news. Thank you, Buzz. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> One step at a time. Uh, um, we've got to get them all together. Uh, Father Jack, Dougal, Mrs Doyle. I'm going to America. Yes! Ted, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. I, uh... I... I... I just want to thank you for talking me off the ledge the other day. It was very good of you. I can't pretend that I'm any happier, I'm afraid. The world still seems a dark, unpleasant place. Yes! <laughs> I have to get all my stuff brought over, but that won't be a problem. Ah, Kevin, hello. What can I do for you? Uh, well, it's just, you know, I, I feel as if I should tell someone where my thoughts have been leading me these past few weeks. Down some very dark and disturbing alleys. I think... I'm experiencing what you might know as the dark night of the soul. Hold on a second, Kevin. Do you mind if I put on some music? <laughs> no. Uh, I, I've, I've begun to be plagued by doubts. Doubts about... Oh, God. I mean, wh what if none of it's true? <laughs> what? Who's the black rabbit dick sex machine with all the Shaft! <laughs> Sorry, Father? This is such a good song! <laughs> I just keep thinking about all the awful things that happen to people. War, famine, that whole mirror pension fund thing. <laughs> it just makes me despair. Shaft! <laughs> I do, I, I do like this song, actually. Ah, it's, uh, it's terrific. Mrs Doyle got in the car boot sale. You were saying, Kevin? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'd better be going home anyway. Thanks, Ted. Listen, do you want that 20? Yeah, I actually keep it. Really? All right, thanks, Ted. No problem. <laughs> yes! Dougal, great news. I've been asked to go and work in America. <laughs> really? As what? <laughs> well, as, as a priest. A priest? Great. That's more or less the same as what you do here. <laughs> yes. God, America. Fantastic. When are we going? <laughs> when are we... what? I am going, aren't I? You wouldn't... you wouldn't leave me behind, would you? <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, wait till you hear this. Ted's been offered a job in America and we're all going with him. We get to me. We get to me. Are we are we really? Are we really, Father? <laughs> yes, we're we're going to America. Tell Father Jack. Father Jack?
Actually, I, I think I'd better just go and have a bit of a lie down. <laughs> Father, do you mind if I turn on the radio? No, I don't. Put it on. With the new single, here's Radiohead. <laughs> From your sleep, the drive. What a great mask. Well, what do you think, Buzz? Yeah, seeing you out there today, Ted. <laughs> Let me put it this way. I haven't been this excited about religion in 30 years. You really know how to work the rum. Well, you inspired me, Buzz. It was one of those masses when everything went right. I don't know what it was. I was just in the zone. I know they're going to love you in the States, Ted. You put on a show. But remember, it's a competitive market. You'll be up against Billy Graham and those Nation of Islam guys. You got to get your audience. You got to grab them. You know where to grab them. Yeah, by the balls. Yeah, I was going to say by the shoulders. All right, sorry. Yeah, it's fantastic. I just feel like going out and doing another mass right away. Yeah, pace yourself, Ted. I wouldn't do another mass for a week. The way I feel now. I could convert gays. <laughs> oh, Ted, one week to go. Yes, Dougal. Um, <clears throat> Mrs. Doyle, Dougal, Father Jack, I have to tell you something. I have to be absolutely honest with you. The money was just resting in the, the account. account. We know all that. <laughs> No, it's, it's nothing to do with that. It's... Well, the thing is... You won't... You won't... be able to come with me. <laughs> when I go into space, I'm going to be the first priest in space. <laughs> yes. NASA have selected me to be the first priest in space, so that's the news I thought you'd want to hear. Great. That's all right. Go, oh, Ted. First America, then space. What's next? <laughs> Who knows? Well, as long as we can all go to America with you, that's the important thing. I think if I heard that I couldn't go for any reason, I'd have to say that that would be the single most crushing blow of my life. <laughs> A disappointment like that, I don't see how I could live with it. I might have to take the ultimate step and take my own life. Mrs Doyle, that's a terrible thing to say. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because I am going to America. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Father, today's the day. I arranged for the electricity and phone to be cut off, and I got someone to come around and take away all the furniture and burn it in a big fire. <laughs> We don't want to miss our plane. God, Ted, I've just seen my passport photo. I look hilarious. Here. God, I've changed a lot. <laughs> look at Father Jack. He's so excited about going to America, he can barely keep still. <laughs> Seriously, Dougal, I have to say something. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Every time Ted's talked to us over the past few days, it's just been more and more good news. Now you're going to tell us you're Santa or something. No, I, I'm not Santa. In fact, I'm the opposite to Santa. The anti-Santa? <laughs> I'm afraid this is going to come as a terrible blow to all of you. But I can't put it off any longer. What are those guys doing here? Uh, they just came with me from the airport to say goodbye. 
They don't think they're coming as well, do they? No, I, I told them. I definitely made that very clear to them. I, I told them a million times. Just say your goodbyes and get checked in. Then we can go to the executive lounge, talk about your new parish. You know, Ted, all my life I've dreamed about something really special happening to me. And now it is. I think this is the greatest moment of my life. Me too. Big bras! <laughs> Dougal, uh, Mrs. Doyle, Father Jack, well, why don't you wait in, in the cafe and I'll just check us in. Which cafe, Ted? The one that isn't a tourist office over there. Okay, sir. <laughs> They're never going to serve us. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you all set? I am. Damn. I forgot to pack my swimming trunks. What do you want them for? Phil, I don't want to go au naturel uh, at the pool. See, I have, uh, <clears throat> I have a bit of downy fluff around that whole bottom <laughs> area. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I heard about that. <laughs> No, I meant what pool? You don't have a pool. No? Okay. Uh, you'll have a basketball court. Ah, great. That'll keep me fit anyway. <laughs> One of the ways the parish has tried to cool tensions between the gangs in the past is through sports. <laughs> Stop you there a moment, Buzz. Gangs. Did you use the word gangs there? What does that mean exactly? Uh, well, L.A.'s gang problem is getting slightly better these days. Last year, there were only 5,620 gang-related deaths. <laughs> There's another use of that word gangs they asked you about earlier. Also, I couldn't help noticing that it was followed closely by the word deaths. Yes. <laughs> the good news is that drive-by shootings are down. Right, there I note the word shootings. <laughs> Buzz? Yes? I quit. I didn't know I was going to America to umpire drive-by shooting tournaments. Stop the plane! But, uh, it hasn't started yet, Ted. Don't start the plane. I, I'm getting off. <laughs> Ted, is that you? <laughs> yes, it's me. Listen, Dougal, I've been thinking about things and I think it would be better if I didn't go to America. I think we'd all be happiest where we belong, on Craggy Island. Fair enough, Ted. I didn't really want to go anywhere. <laughs> oh, Father, you're back. What's going on? Ted decided it would be better if we didn't go to America. Really? He's probably right. <laughs> Come on, Father, we'll go home and get you a drink. Drink? But I thought you really wanted to go. Yes, I thought I'd be a bit more disappointed. But now that you've told us, I realise that I didn't want to go anyway. Besides, I don't think I can go. I haven't told my sister about it. Come on, Ted, let's go. Oh, yeah, Ted, you're here to stay with me and Mrs Doyle and Father Jack forever and ever 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 and ever. sort of thing. Careful now. Night, Dougal. Night, Ted. 